What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound of the Tech once again, and I'd stand up for you, but I got a broken leg. That aside, today we're going to be taking a look at how to mine Ethereum. The quickest and most simplest way for you to just get up and going mining Ethereum with, like, maybe your gaming rig or an old PC with a graphics card you have laying around. Not too old, because obviously there's other things going on there. But that being said, I'm just gonna go over how to do it the simplest way and get you up and running. So without further ado, let's hop into it. First things first, you're gonna need a wallet. I would recommend MetaMask. It's a Chrome browser plugin. It does work in the latest version of Edge and it works with Chrome as well. So, you know, and as well, Firefox. So it's called MetaMask. You can just go to metamask.io. I'll leave a link down in the description and click download. You're gonna select Chrome option and then you're gonna click install MetaMask for Chrome. You're gonna add it as an extension and then it should pop up with getting started. You're gonna go through the process. You're gonna create a new wallet, I'm assuming, and then you are going to agree after you read, of course. You're gonna create a password I don't know, maybe like son of a tech and then send me your wallet information and click create. So this part is going to be your backup phrase and you want to go ahead and write these down. I would recommend in a hardware form, i.e. pencil and paper, pen and paper. But essentially, if you just need to get going, go ahead and do a control C, create a notepad. And just make sure you remember that you copied these in here and do like a file save as. Do not keep this on your desktop. You can get it uh, quick access to it. So at this point, we are going to confirm our backup seed. So it's smoke. Confirm. So as you can see, it does give you some tips on storing it safely, save a backup in multiple places, never share the phrase with anyone, be careful of phishing. So a phishing attack is when people basically ask you for your recovery seed and pretending to be MetaMask. You just wanna be really careful with that. One of the things that helps though, of course, is that we do now have the plugin, right? So the plugin's gonna be installed in Chrome, so what I would recommend is bookmarking the metamask.io, uh, just maybe in your Google account. And what that's gonna do is make sure that you're going to the correct address whenever you go to get the plugin and that you're not getting fished or anything like that. Alrighty, so now that we're done with the wallet, we're gonna go ahead and get on to mining. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go find 7-Zip and download it. So you can click the download button. I'll leave a link down below for 7-Zip and grab the 64-bit version and go through the install process. You're gonna need 7-Zip because the archive for the miner is going to be password protected and the default built-in Windows extraction tools will not function with that password protection or the archive password protection. So what we're gonna to need to do next is go get Claymore Dual Miner. Their website's gonna be claymoredualminer.com or you can do a quick Google search and we will leave a link to that in the description below as well. Once you're on this splash page, you're gonna click download now and it'll download a zip file. Basically two zip files in one. Now you should, this is pretty normal, you are going to get a notification that it's a virus. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to go in Chrome to the bottom right and click show all and then click dangerous file. The downside, unfortunately, is that you need to be very, very careful with all mining software because all mining software is flagged as viruses now. And because all of it is, it's easier for people that are being malicious to hide things in miners. So try to get it from a well-known source and be very, very careful. So once you have it in your System. You're going to go ahead and right click, select the 7-zip option and extract files. Then you're going to open this one. You will see a readme. The reason the readme is here is you're going to need to get the password for the archive, which is Claymore. So then you're going to right click the next archived file 
extract the files and it will ask for the password, which is Claymore. Once that's complete, you'll have the miner and all the miners extracted and ready to edit. So here is where the fun begins. So you can either go open your MetaMask and copy the address to the clipboard. You're gonna find your preferred miner. My recommendation at this time is gonna be Ethereum uh, for Ethermine. You're gonna right click and select edit. This should open a notepad and this notepad is where we will make all of our changes. For Ethermine, I like to do US1 and then just go to your respective region. If you need to find the region, you can always go to ethermine.org. If you go to ethermine.org, you should be able to click over to start mining and get all of the server listings, including Asia, Europe, US East, and US West, and selecting a port. We're gonna pretty much always be on port 4444 uh, for this type of content. Alrighty, so there, that is how you would get the mining pool address. The e-wallet is the MetaMask address that we copied out of our plugin. Your worker would be the name of your computer, however you want to work that out. Mode 1 should be Ethereum only. And the rest of these for today we are going to skip and we'll go over advanced configurations in a later video. Once you've completed modifying it with the pool address you want to mine to, as well as the wallet address you want to mine to, then you're ready to click File and save and you can go ahead and copy this whole thing if you lose the the uh, template you can copy this out of the description below at this point we're going to right click ethermine and run as administrator we'll just double click and run it all right so you can see here we have two graphics cards we have 5700 xt and a 5600 xt it's going to start mining there we go and we are up and running. Congratulations if you made it this far. You are up and running and mining. If you have any questions and couldn't make it this far, of course, let us know in the comment section below or come on over to the Discord where we have some people that can help you out. Now, for the fun part. How much money am I making? What's it doing? Well, there, what we're going to do is go back to the pool website at ethermine.org. We're going to open our MetaMask plugin, which is our Ethereum wallet, and we're going to copy the Ethereum address out of there and then click search. And this page, once we have some more mining going on, will show the amount of worker, workers active or inactive, the amount of ETH that we have and the estimated earnings. This can all be moved to BTC uh, or US dollar, as well as daily, weekly and monthly and it'll have a whole readout here for you guys to check out. But you will have to mine for a little bit. Now, one of the things that is kind of a caveat here that you may want to check out with this particular pool, which is Ethermine, is that they do have a payment threshold of one entire ETH. So if you want to change that, what you're going to do is head on over to settings, and then you are going to enter the minimum, the furthest minimum we can do is 0 0.05 and then if you can see down here the miner is not active but when it is it'll pop up with the last three digits of your public IP address and you will need to basically use your public IP address along with your mining address to verify it's you to make the payment threshold change Another note about that is to get your IP address, you can just go to whatismyip.org, which I will link down in the description below. So that's pretty much going to cover it, and that's going to be a quick guide on how to mine Ethereum uh, with your Windows rig, and I hope that it was super helpful. Of course, there are tons of miners, tons of more things to go over content wise we are talking you know all of the specifics and details and advanced options for individual miners we have mining software like hive os and simple mining uh, that are also going to be 
something that you need to consider once you get past the just mining on your gaming rig while you're not using it and that sort of thing. So keep a close eye on this channel and I'll be coming up with the content as I can. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. I stream live every day except for today because I have been trying to get everything going here. 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time and I stream on the weekends even longer so make sure you come check that out as well. Adios and I'll see you next Tuesday.